to a warm front coming through early this morning. We got back to average. I definitely like showing off this graphic just to show uh, not only the big temperature drop off we've had over the last couple days, high of only 21 yesterday, but look at the rebound back to 40 this afternoon. That is right on average for this time of year. So it feels like it should for late November after a little detour into December and January territory for a little while. The weather does stay mild through the rest of this week and through next week. So we don't get rid of it anytime soon. So that's uh, the added bonus here is now that we've rebounded, we're not going to drop right back down again. That said, it's not like winter weather is fully going to go away. Rain snow mix possible going into Friday. Same for portions of the weekend. So we may have to see a few snowflakes, possibly even some slushy roads at times moving forward, even though the temperatures warmed up plenty and they do look warm compared to where we were yesterday into tomorrow morning. Right at about freezing during those morning hours, but as you can see, we're just barely at that freezing point and then back to the 40s uh, throughout tomorrow afternoon. In fact, all the way up to a high of 44, a little warmer than where we were today under a mainly cloudy sky, a slight breeze out of the south, uh, so things are going to be looking uh, and feeling a lot warmer than the past couple days. Nice way to round out the month of November. We head into December, though, with some wintry conditions, so snow possible early Friday, mixing with rain later, uh, so that could result in some slushy roads early on Friday. Not looking at really much, if anything, for snow accumulations, but uh, it could come through at just the right time, or that morning commute could have some slick spots before everything starts to melt, so really pay attention to the forecast over the next uh, 36 hours or so. Uh, we will definitely be right within this territory. When we get warm enough, uh, we uh, tend to see more rain, and it depends on how deep that warm air is, because as that shrinks, you can see we get into those tricky precipitation types. Thankfully, I think we're going to be limited when we're in the freezing rain territory, uh, but we'll be kind of dancing back and forth between uh, cold enough air for snow and warm enough air for rain, so uh, that's going to make the precipitation type kind of go back and forth a little bit as we get into the end of this week. Here we are very early Friday morning, warm enough for rain, but then we cool off enough that we get some snow showers mixing in by sunrise. So this is when things could get a little slushy or a little icy for a brief amount of time. Then by about the middle of Friday morning, we're warming back up again where we're getting mostly rain showers. That extends into Friday afternoon, and then we could see a repeat of that going into Friday night and early Saturday morning. So we have a slight chance for some flurries around for early Saturday. May see some hit or miss rain and snow showers on Sunday. Thankfully, despite the weather dancing back and forth, our temperatures hold steady right at about 40 through the rest of this week and into early next week. And your most accurate 10 day forecasts may even warm up more than that could be pushing 50 degrees by about next weekend. So definitely not feeling like December by that point. And the four degree guarantee are getting closer and closer to $200. Hoping to go over that mark tomorrow.